Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is an updated one. So I do have a previous version and I will link it for you at the end of this video because you might find that there are some differences because I found some new things that I love to wear to the office. I did think it was worth redoing because it has been highly requested and it's just the kind of video that will always be useful if you ever struggle to find the best basics for work. Now I do have a series that talks talks about the best basics for certain items like jeans um, and trousers. We've done a ton of different categories over the past year, but for 2018 I thought we would start off the year by unifying everything into one video and just talking about the particular types of items that I think if you are especially just starting out your career you will find particularly vital. This video does assume that you do have already a full suit that you might have worn to interview for example, so that will already set you up with a basic blazer and a basic skirt or trousers it will be the best quality that you can afford so mine is from Hugo Boss but lots of other lines make great ones as well I've seen some great ones at Zara and J Crew in particular and the J Crew ones tend to go on sale all the time so those are great places to look if you're looking for your classic suit this is everything that you will add to that already existing outfit in order to build your wardrobe and I've got a ton of suggestions in the info bar down below for different brands and particular items that fit these categories that you might want to think about if you're looking for those items. The ones that I've included are my personal favorite items from my own closet that I wear to work every week. Let's get started. The first item that I think is indispensable, no surprise, and fashion bloggers tend to agree with this one, is a classic blazer. Now if you're in an office environment though, as opposed to many fashion bloggers, you are going to tend to wear this a little bit more formally, which doesn't mean that you have to ignore all of the trends and fun pieces that are out there, however. This one in particular is a nod to the trends of the last year, and it definitely has a more menswear inspired look, and it's a little bit on the looser side as well. This is the Banana Republic Boyfriend Blazer, and I have to say, I think their quality has really gone up since I filmed my last video, and very nicely made because I've worn this a ton and it hasn't wrinkled at all. I love the attention to detail on it. The gold buttons I think are especially classic and something to look out for if you're looking for a really great blazer to add to your wardrobe. Two previous iterations that I tended to really embrace in my outfit of the days in my five days of fashion would be ones from Zara. Or another one that was one of my all-time favorites is from Brooks Brothers. But this is my current favorite so I wanted to include this one in the video and I just love how it has a little bit of a casual vibe to it just given how oversized it is but that's definitely what we're seeing more of in fashion this year and the last year. So we're gonna start off with that. But then what's most often ignored, I think, when we talk about blazers is what on earth you're supposed to wear underneath it. Three different suggestions for you in this video. The first one I'm actually wearing. I really love this look in terms of a more current look. Just a turtleneck under a blazer is very of the moment, but it's also very classic as well. To me, it's a little bit 60s. And I love how sleek it looks. So even though it may be trendy, it's still very put together looking and still perfect for an office environment because, I don't know, there's just something that's very like power suit to it. Option number two for you to wear under your blazer or suit jacket is a beautiful little silk shirt. So I know the classic choice when you're building your wardrobe is to get button downs in a starchy kind of cotton. I'm very against that personally. I find if you are especially larger chested, it's just incredibly hard to find ones that fit well. And even if you do find ones that fit well, well, they're still not the most comfortable. So depending on how long you're going to be wearing it, you might want to consider some different options. I think it's great to have one or two of those button down shirts, especially to wear for interviews, court appearances, anything like that. Um, but then for full day wear, I really prefer more of a blouse. And this one is from Club Monaco. I find that Club Monaco makes really good ones. And then the other option that I've mentioned ad nauseum is equipment. I think a visit to the equipment rack is an absolute must if you are building your suit wear wardrobe. It's something I always recommend to young lawyers as well. They have a ton of fun prints but also classic prints as well and they do tend to go on sale periodically every season. So I especially really like a nice cream one but I also like to complement it with some fun patterns as well to switch up my look a little bit. The third choice that I think is an absolute must for everyone is a little shell. So this is my winter option. It is a little bit more of a soft cashmere with a little bit of texture to it. 
This one is from Newman Marcus. I've had a previous iteration of this exact same style from Saks Fifth Avenue. I just wanted a new one because I wear the Saks Fifth Avenue one all the time to the point where it's often in the wash, um, waiting to be hand washed when I want to wear it. I also really recommend getting some fun colors and lighter textures for spring and summer. I definitely have a few from J. Crew in a bright pink and a really pretty teal, and I'm always looking for ones in the sale rack. Equipment does some as well. Something like this isn't going to add a ton of bulk, you're not going to have sleeves to fuss over, and it also is going to really look good under cardigans as well. I'm really into that kind of retro twin set look. I think it's really polished. I don't tend to wear twin set pieces that match perfectly. What I'll do is I'll have a little shell like this, and then I'll top it with a cardigan, then with a nice skirt or some trousers, even easier. Um, your whole look is so easily finished. So that brings me to my next point, which is everybody needs a great pair of trousers. I feel like especially in this changing office environment that we live in, depending on where you live in the world, things are getting a little bit more casual. Especially if your office environment is more business casual than business formal, you need these. They are just classic skinny cut black trousers. I really like the J. Crew Maddies for a little bit more of an office formal look, but if you're more on the business casual side like me, get something that's a little bit softer and more comfortable. So the halogen ponte pants, they have a zip up the back especially, so if you've got a little bit of a muffin top after the holidays, these are especially, especially um, flattering. And I do get them a size up so I can fit the extra small, but I get the small so that you don't get too much tightness in the pants and they don't have too much of a legging look at all, even though technically, you know, they don't have the features that you would expect of a trouser in terms of having the front closure. But I think that's a really flattering um, detail to them because it keeps them from being too bulky around the front. And they wash beautifully. It's very, very hard to find a pair that is machine washable. So I have my Hugo Bosses and a few other pairs for more formal work events. Those are dry clean only. In previous videos, I've mentioned my favorite skirts, but if I'm going to do a video where I talk about my most often reach for pieces, unfortunately, they didn't make it into this video because I just don't tend to wear them every single week. I tend to either go for dresses or go for pants because I feel like those are just the easiest um, items to style. You don't really have to do a lot to put together an outfit featuring those items. If you are more of a skirt person, I really, really recommend checking out White House Black Market. I think they are the best fitting, affordable, washable skirts on the market at the moment. J. Crew also makes some good ones, but they don't always fit me quite as well. As a result of the omission of skirts, we're going to talk a little bit more about dresses because I love a good dress for work. I think it's so pretty and ladylike and just so comfortable as well. Um, I just love a good black dress like this and if you want to dress it up more, something that's business casual kicked up a notch. Or business formal but with a bit more of a twist involving your personal style would be a dress paired with a blazer. That's a look that is a personal favorite of mine. This dress is from Rebecca Taylor. It's a tweed with really pretty fringe on the edges. It's got a bit of a fit and flare style but it's still got that suitwear kind of look that makes you look really sharp, really gorgeous with some pearls as well. Um, I love to wear pearl earrings or a pearl necklace just to add a little bit of lightness to the outfit especially if you're going to be wearing a lot of black or charcoal. Um, so that's my favorite black dress at the moment, but I think it's also essential not to be afraid to include some color and pattern in your workwear look as well, even if you're starting out, because that will show off your personality. For me, I just love greens this year, so I've got this Eliza J sweater dress. This will keep you warm in an office environment that might be freezing. I'm choosing not to insert my own scarves um, in this video. I do own a scarf line. I'll be coming out with three new colors for the spring season. At the moment, I'm still getting rid of a couple of colors from my past season. Discount code down below for 10% off if you would like to pick up one of my last few emerald green or Hawaiian orchid scarves. There's only a couple left and then we'll be starting with the spring season of Nouvelle Apparel scarves. You don't really need me with my scarf line to tell you if you're cold in the office. I think it's very, very common for women to be freezing cold. Um, my boss and I are always cold in our office and in my previous job, legal training and internet 
internships, I always was so freezing as well. So you'll have to figure that out for yourself what the temperature is like in your new job. But for me, it's always been absolutely frozen. So I always wear a cashmere scarf, usually paired with any outfits that I put together. And I definitely reach for sweater dresses as well as a result of that. So this one from Eliza J um, has just the most beautiful colors. And Eliza J does a good job of making ones that aren't too bulky and are still very streamlined and nice looking and office appropriate. Tight are something that I get constant questions about. I could make a full video about all my thoughts about tights, but I won't today. I'm going to keep it short. My thoughts are really that you should know when you start a job what is expected of you. So in any office environment in Vancouver, um, sheer stockings are not required. Same thing for Toronto for the most part, unless you work for a private bank, um, sheer stockings will also not be required. So what does that leave you with? During the summer months, I think it's so hot outside that everything does tend to get a little bit more casual. My choice has always go, been to go with a nicely moisturized bare leg instead, and I tend to keep my hemlines a little bit longer as a result of that as well. For the winter months, especially if you live somewhere cold like Toronto or New York, I think black tights are your best friend. So I specifically got a new pair so that I could show you guys which ones I get. I always get the secret luxury shaping not the mat. So there's a round sticker like this that may say mat on it and I hate those and if you're a fur parent especially avoid those because they are kind of lint magnets and that's really all that needs to be said about stockings and tights. Now as part of your interview outfit you may already have a pair of pumps that you love but if you don't I really highly recommend LK Bennett. I think they make amazing pumps. Something in patent leather I think is especially chic and powerful looking. I'll include a few options down below. These are the same exact pair that I discussed in last time's video and they are still a firm favorite of mine. And depending on how much walking around you have to do especially, you may not want something as dressy as these for a daily basis. So what I really highly recommend is to stock up on block heels, especially when they go on sale. That's something that I always did when I was building my work wardrobe. My current favorites are from State. They're really affordable, under 100 by far, and they come in a lot of great colors. I love the almond toe and the really pretty sweetheart detailing here. Perfect height in my opinion anybody can walk in these super super comfortable on the foot but nonetheless not everybody is equally comfortable in heels and so I really highly recommend that everybody invests in a pair of flats that you feel really confident in so I have decided to invest in a pair of Chanel's and I've worn these to death a ton of brands that make classic ballet flats and I think there's something really feminine and pretty about it just really simple ballet flat for work. Um, they're really easy to walk in and they also do look really great with jeans as well. Last point that needs to be mentioned, especially given that many offices are getting to be a little bit more casual and many, many offices that myself and my friends work at all have a casual Friday policy or jeans day as it's often called. And sometimes that's even for charity as well, which is kind of neat now. I really think you need to have jeans that are office appropriate and not necessarily the same ones that you wear at the weekend. So I've got these current Elliott ones that are my standby favorites. They are so incredibly comfortable and slimming. They're high-waisted. They are skinny cut, but they're not so skinny that they, you know, make me unable to move or sit for long periods of time. They're ankle grazing, so they look really pretty with a pair of flats or with heels as well. And what's most important is that they're not all distressed and they don't have a ton of fading either, which actually makes them more slimming as well as more office appropriate too. I've also picked up a pair from Mother that has been highly recommended to me that also fits all of those criteria but they are currently at the tailor being hemmed um, so I'm really excited to try those out and I will link them down below as well hope that you found this video helpful that it added a little something something to the previous iterations and recommendations that I've made before if you have any of your own recommendations for top workwear items and please leave those recommendations down below so we can all benefit from your wisdom thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next installment on Style. Bye!